Hello there! So I am filming my Confessions of a Shoeaholic tag. Now this is the very first video that I've ever done on YouTube, so I think it's time to refilm it and actually use like my real camera instead of my iPad camera. So, um, actually a lot of things changed up too, so I figured this was a good time for me to start fresh, you know what I mean? Let's get started. So the first question, heels or flats? Definitely heels. I wear heels almost every day and actually I think heels have become more comfortable for me than flats because flats I feel like too flat, you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's just more comfortable for me. Number two, what are your go-to shoes? I think this is actually the same as my last video. I'm not sure though about that. But my go-to shoes are definitely my plain nude pumps. Um, just because these are probably most neutral with everything it just goes with everything and um they're they're not really that comfortable though because they're patent leather and these shoes really kill me like after i'd say two hours of standing them in them so i really only wear them if i know i'm going to be able to go somewhere and be able to sit down but if i have to be standing or i have to walk in them these are a no-go number three what's your favorite shoe trend at the moment right now i'm really into the whole color blocking thing i'm trying to get out of wearing neutral colors i know i'm wearing a beige blazer and a black tank top right now but I actually am getting more used to brighter colors, so I really like color blocking. So I like when shoes have like color blocked shoes, like like this shoe, like this is purple, and that is like a tealish, and this is gold at the bottom. So then you could wear like something really cute with this and actually match it up, and I don't know, it looks really cute. So I, I really like that right now. Number four, what is your least favorite shoe trend at the moment? I'm debating between two. I really don't like moccasins. I I. I know that they're really in right now and they're really comfortable and stuff, but I cannot, I, I just don't like them. Um, and I don't like clogs, and maybe that's just for me, I don't like them on me. I mean, if you want to wear them, by all means, go ahead, I'm not like knocking you for wearing them. But it's just something that does not look good on me at all. No matter how hard I try, I will never look good in moccasins or in clogs. Number five, what's your most expensive shoe? To be completely honest with you, I don't spend that much money on shoes. I mean, I spend a lot of money on shoes as a collective whole, but not individually because I just don't. Um, I tend to wear my shoes out really easily, so all my shoes are actually in the similar price range. I would say my probably probably my most expensive pair be maybe like 120, 130, but I, I don't I don't like buy like crazy expensive like designer brand shoes like Christian Louboutins or anything like that. If I could, I would, but um I don't. So all my shoes are pretty much around the same price. Number six, what are your most wanted pair of shoes? I'm going to pull up a picture and I'm going to show you. I don't know how well you can see that right now, but that you see like the blue bottoms with the gold heel and the and the black. That's just a regular stiletto, and I really think those are cute. I don't know if they're my most wanted, but um. If I were to get another pair of shoes right now, those would be the ones that I would get. Number seven, what's your most embarrassing shoe story? Well, um, I feel like if you live in New York, this, is, this might have happened to you, so I'm going to tell this one because I have quite a few embarrassing shoe stories, but this one, this one's pretty good. If you go to New York City and you walk, you see that there's grates everywhere on the floor because the subways need to let up the steam because otherwise then there's going to be too much pressure underground and everything's just going to fail. So. We have the grates where the steam comes up, and you cannot walk on the grates if you're walking in heels. So you always have to look down when you're walking in the city, walking in heels, because you don't want to walk on grates. And if you live in New York City, you totally know what I'm talking about. So there was one time that I stepped right, like right directly into the grate, and my heel went right through it. And I tried to walk, and I didn't realize that my heel went through it, and I just completely fell. And that was really embarrassing, but it was really funny. Like, I kind of wish someone had it on videotape just so I could, like, rewatch it. It's one of those funny things. But, um, that was really embarrassing. Number eight, pick a shoe and tell a story. So, these are Chinese laundry shoes, and if you are a pageant girl, you most likely know about these shoes if you do not have them already. So, I did not have these shoes because every time I would go to a pageant, I would wear swimsuit shoes that everyone was like, why are you wearing those? And I just liked them and I thought they were comfortable, but whatever, they didn't work for everyone else. So, my friend Joanna, who was Miss New York USA, wore, uh, got these shoes when she competed at Miss USA. And look at the bottom, it says New York. I don't know if you could see that in the silver writing. And she gave these to me to use for the Miss New York USA pageant. And I was so excited because I literally showed my mom these shoes online like probably about a week before um, the pageant and I was like mom I have to have these shoes for swimsuit like this is these would be the perfect shoes and then it just so happened that Joanna came over a week later and she was like here you're wearing these for swimsuit so these shoes were worn at Miss USA and Miss New York USA so I really like these shoes and they're kind of special 
Number nine, how many pairs of shoes do you own? I think I own like a little bit over 60, like it might be like 62, 63, something around there, but uh, just about that range. Number 10, when was the first time you wore heels? Okay, literally the first time I wore heels was probably when I was younger and I was dancing. Like we used to wear these things called uh, character shoes. Like if you're a dancer or you're in theater, you probably know what I'm talking about. And they have like taps at the bottom of them so you can tap in heels. And um, the, that was like literally the first time I wore heels. But uh, when I first started wearing heels was actually, I think I was, I don't know if I was 15. 14, 15, maybe I like just turned 15 and I started wearing heels to school. Like not like crazy six inch stilettos, like my mother would not let me wear those when I was younger, but um, yeah, I think I started wearing heels around then. Number 11, how much money do you spend on shoes? I think I actually spoke about this earlier in this video. Um, as a collective whole, I probably spend a lot of money on shoes, but like for individual shoes, I don't spend a ton of money. Like I don't buy designer brand shoes like or you know, spend hundreds of dollars on one pair. Number 12, where are your favorite places to buy shoes? Well, I like to shop in places where I know my definite size because I like shopping for shoes online. Like, I really like Just Fab because I know Just Fab, um, I know my size in Just Fab. I know my, my size at Baker's. I know my size, um, just like a lot of the American stores, a lot of the Italian shoe companies, I, I tend to be really big in their shoes. Like I know in Aldo, I'm a, I think I'm like a 10 or an 11 sometimes, and that's kind of weird because I'm not that tall. I'm tall, I'm not that tall. But um, so I, I try to steer toward the American companies, but I really like just buying things online. Like I'll just search it up and I know if it's an American company and I can find online to see like how their sizes equate to like real life, you know, like look at reviews and things like that. Then, um, then I'll buy it and um, yeah, pretty much anywhere though, just specifically online. I don't really like shopping in person for anything because shopping just bores me to death. Number 13, have you gotten a pair of shoes that you regret purchasing? No. Number 14, show us your favorite pair of shoes. Well these Joanna also let me borrow for um, Miss New York USA. These are Tony Bowles and these are super sparkly. And the final question, are you a shoeaholic? I think anyone doing this video is a shoeaholic. That's why it's called Confessions of a Shoeaholic. But I tag all of you to do this video and I'll post the questions in the link below as I usually do. Um, let me know if you have any requests or anything like that and I will see you soon. Bye!